football teams, this is the time to lock it down. Championships are on the line. The 5A and 4A district championships both being played tonight. We turn it over to Jay with all of the action. Jay? You know, at the 5A level, Ryan, the last two teams standing in the district playoffs were Mountain View and Capital. After signing to play collegiately with Utah State on Wednesday, Liz Landers would show everyone why the Aggies wanted her so badly tonight. With Capital up three in the third, the Mavs turn it over. Landers gets it with a long outlet pass to Emily Eckhart. She lays it in. 34-29 Eagles. A little later on, Landreth dribbling at the top of the key. He loses it, but uses her body to get it back and then knocks down the J. As, she, as good as she was, Mountain View freshman Destiny Slocum was every bit as important to her team. Off the miss, Aubrey Griffith gets it. Slocum pulls the trigger again and buries it. Then in the fourth, check out this move. I remind you, she's a freshman tied at 51. We'd head to overtime there. Capital down, 58-55 with three seconds left. Who do they go to? Who do you think? Landry beats the buzzer, and we're headed to a second overtime. With the Capital kids going crazy, Landry was like, enough is enough. She hits the trifecta from the corner. The senior poured in 37 big ones. Capital wins the 5A district title. In the 4A, Bishop Kelly was trying to knock off undefeated and three-time defending state champ Middleton. A nail-biter late Vikings down one, but check out the effort. Eventually, Derek Tola gets it back and puts it in herself. Then the junior doing it on the defensive end as well. She steals it away on the ensuing possession. Allison Costins with her back to the bucket. Middleton went on an 8-0 run just over a minute midway through the third. Capped by this Maya Ayu lay-in. Ayu, uh, ah, uh, yes. Vikings win the 4A district title again, 49-44. Next up.